Welcome to my little explanation about how to get to know your bowls. In The Way In, my book The Way In, and my And Life app, um, I have a very particular portioning method which is so easy and simple and game changing. We do not have to calorie count anymore if you follow this method and you eat on a schedule. So more about that in the book or the app, but the portioning method is basically two hands for a meal, one hand for a snack, and you can go find out the schedule. Just that information alone is not gonna get you there because you have to ingrain it as a habit and that's what the app really helps you do. But in the meantime, it's just great awareness and great to know, but one of the key things is getting to understand the size of your own bowls, your own plates, and especially your wine glasses. <laughs> so when we're having a two-hand meal, you wanna think of it as almost a cup, loosely. Um, and so in this bowl, if I take two cups of water and I pour it in, I can see, okay, basically, you know, from here to here on my own finger down on this bowl, so, one knuckle is going to be, um, one phalange actually, um, is going to be basically two cups in this bowl. So then what I do is I'm going to go pour this out. And this is the big thing I talk to people about when it comes to buying your salad for lunch. So today was a big shoot day for me. So I actually stopped off and I bought one of my favorite salads. This is a, um, a great cafe here in LA um, called Jade's and they have a really wonderful um, Asian chicken salad. It's just poached chickens with a little black sesame seeds which are fantastic. We chuck the little fried things because I'm not making a social meal out of this and I do have um, a meeting later tonight that'll be social. And then they have a great um, ginger dressing which is fantastic. And then we have this bowl full of cabbage and um, some sauteed mushrooms which are so delicious i'm positive they saute them in butter but that's okay because um butter is known to have protective qualities for your brain so we're going to be all right with that but anyway here's what i want to show you this amount of food is humongous this is way more than you need for one lunch in one sitting so if i just take the um, mushrooms off right here which i'll do and I'll put those aside and I take the chicken aside. So that's probably a half a cup of those mushrooms and here's a half a cup or so of this chicken. I actually picked at it before I did the um, video. <laughs> so <laughs> before I shot some workout videos today. Um, yeah, so there was a little more. There was definitely a half cup to three quarters of a cup. So that that's fine for a meal, but look at this. This bowl is full, full, full. So what I suggest people do with a salad is take your greens and, well, there's two ways to do this. One is to take the good stuff in a salad and get one cup worth of that. So you could measure with it. I happen to know, just like I did with the water, I know I'm not gonna want anything that's deeper in this bowl than this. That's how, how deep I'm gonna do this salad. And basically, if you have one cup of the good stuff, one cup of your protein and your veggies or whatever, and then you put the greens on top of that up to your level, that's gonna be a great portion of food to start with for that lunch. That might be enough for you. And then sometimes you need a little bite of chocolate or something else, fantastic. And then you'll be hungry and ready to eat again within two to four hours. And we're gonna have some of the rest of that left over as a real food snack later in the afternoon. And that is the key to not overeating at night. All of this is in my book, The Way In. Um, some of this you can get on the and life app you really need to get them both oh I'll do it the way I said so I'll take this because this is about a half cup so that's fantastic but I'm gonna save just a little bit for this afternoon because I know I'm gonna have a snack and I'll take almost all the mushrooms so I did eat some of this before remember I told you I stole some of the good stuff out of this but so we're basically having a cup of food in the bottom of this and I know how much so this is actually more like three quarters of a cup I know I could have a little bit more but I'm saving that's all they gave me in this salad it's stingy and this salad is expensive too so now I really know <laughs> anyway. okay and then I'll fill the rest with this blend of cabbage and we have some red peppers and we have um, 
really a lot of colors in here, which is absolutely fantastic. And these cruciferous vegetables, which are so important for helping um, keep you regular with fiber, also just clean out your system. So it's just fantastic. And you know, like that is the absolute truth when we talk about eating the rainbow, this is fantastic. So this is a two hand portion of food. And then if you see, look how much is still left here. There's a whole other, I wanna say, two hand amount of cabbage in here. So if you had some rotisserie chicken left over, you could actually save this and, or, um, you know, garbanzo beans, which don't quite go with the Asian thing, but you could figure it out. <laughs> but something, you can make a second salad out of this. So often you are getting two full meal portions or at the very least, um, one two hand meal portion and a one hand snack portion of, um, of food when you order out. So just be aware of that. And just by cutting back to what is a much more energy appropriate portion of food, which this is plenty for right now. It really is. This will be an easily digestible portion of food. Um, my stomach right now is telling me I'm hungry. The hormones are saying, Andrea, please eat something. And then once I eat a bit, Leptin is going to be released in my brain to tell me stop eating, you're fine, which is fantastic. And that's because my hormones are in balance because I'm eating these smaller energy appropriate portions of food on a schedule. And then I'll be ready to eat again within three to four hours. And this is really the key to food freedom. When you eat like this, this means socially you can eat whatever you want. So I'm eating 80% of what I call habit foods. Check out the app or my book to understand what that is. But that's basically the super clean foods that are one step away from the tree. Um, but also, you know, when you eat like this, your metabolism is just fast, 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 fast. You don't have digestive issues or, you know, you can discover whether you honestly have digestive issues with certain foods because sometimes a lot of times i found over 26 years of working with people that so many digestive issues are solved simply by handling portions and eating on a schedule your body can count on so anyway i'm going to now enjoy my favorite salad and i'm going to start with one of these mushrooms that i know they cooked in butter but we're not counting this as a social meal <laughs> <laughs> See, you don't have to be exact and you can still be super fit and happy. <laughs> okay, so thank you for joining me. Check out the book The Way In or my Anne Life app for a little more information and um, message me if you have any questions. Find me on Instagram, on Facebook, here, there, everywhere. I'm around. I'll try to help. Thanks so much. Have a great day.